The ultra-budget smartphone market is arguably one of the most competitive segments in the Philippines today. There are a lot of smartphones available for under 7,000 pesos from different brands and it can be hard to choose which one is for you. Recently, the competition became even tougher with the entry of a new budget brand, Coolpad. Coolpad recently launched two new models, the more affordable CP12 and the phone that we'll be checking out today, the Cool 20 Plus. With a retail price of 5,699 pesos, the Coolpad Cool 20 Plus is one affordable smartphone with somewhat decent specs on paper. But how does it compare to others? Hey guys, Earl here of Tech, and in this video, we will be reviewing the new Coolpad Cool 20 Plus and whether it's a phone that really is cool enough to purchase. Let's start with the design of the Coolpad Cool 20 Plus. It's quite decent overall and resembles most budget smartphones in the segment. The rear panel features a glossy panel with sparkles underneath. The camera housing is located at the upper left portion. And aside from that, the only other design cue is Coolpad's logo located at the bottom left. The unit we have is in the blue colorway which looks great. There appears to be some metallic flakes added to the paint making the back panel sparkle under bright light. Look at that. The back panel is made out of a glass material which is surprisingly to find on a phone at this price point. Meanwhile, the frame is made of plastic and overall it does feel durable. Well, personally, I prefer using the phone with the provided rubber clear case for added protection to prevent leaving nasty fingerprints. At the bottom, you'll find the USB Type-C port along with the loudspeaker. Meanwhile, situated on the right side are the volume rocker and the power button. On the left side, there's the dual SIM card tray which doubles as a micro SD card slot and the 3.5mm audio jack at the top. Compared to the budget smartphones in the segment, the Cool Pad Cool 20 Plus is rather thick and does feel a bit bulky in your pocket. In addition, it does have some weight to it, weighing in at 197.1 grams. So if you are used to lighter, slimmer phones, you might have to adjust a bit when using this device. Now powering up the screen, you will be greeted with a somewhat smaller 6.52 inch IPS LCD. There are relatively thick bezels all around, specifically at the bottom, but it's not surprising considering the price point of this device. The colors are decent at best. They are not the most vivid, but the blacks are quite deep, providing good enough contrast for viewing. It's good enough if you just want to watch some videos or go through some photos on the internet or social media. Now, one thing to note is that the device has a relatively bright display, so you won't have any issues on using this device under direct sunlight. Now, if you are watching videos with friends or family, you do get two downward firing loudspeakers. They're not the best, but that's to be expected since they are mono speakers. You do have to be mindful of where to put your fingers when watching videos. While quality might not be the best, they are loud so your group will be able to hear what's happening on the screen. Under the hood is where the Coolpad did cheap out a bit on the Cool 20 Plus. For starters, it packs a MediaTek Helio G85 processor which is quite an old chipset first introduced in 2020. Our review unit comes with 6 gigs of RAM along with 128 gigs of internal storage. Storage can be expanded via a micro SD card, but you do give up the second SIM card slot if you chose to do so. While the chipset might be old, it can run some light gaming. I was able to play Mobile Legends in Asphalt 9 on this phone, but I did have to tweak the settings out for the games to run more smoothly. But still, at least you can play games on this phone. Although, I wouldn't really recommend playing graphically intensive titles like Genshin Impact or Honkai Star Rail. To give you a better idea on how it performs, check out the benchmark scores that we got. Now, one thing to note is Coolpad's skin on top of Android OS. It only runs on Cool OS 2, which is based on Android 11. We tried updating the phone to Android 12 or 13, but the option didn't seem possible. 
We're surprised that this phone isn't running on Android 13, which could be an issue if you want to use newer apps. Thankfully, there isn't any bloatware when you put this phone up. The dual rear cameras on the Coolpad Cool 20 Plus uses a 48 megapixel lens paired with a 0.3 megapixel sensor. And as expected, it's great when you're shooting in well-lit areas and in daylight. The photo come out quite sharp and you do get decent bokeh in portrait mode. Although the photos do lack contrast and saturation for our liking. It's also surprisingly decent when shooting at night or low light conditions when you adjust the exposure slider when shooting. You don't even need to use night mode since the standard photo mode takes night shots better. While the rear camera is very capable, the front camera is average at Best. It's got a 5 megapixel shooter, but it's decent enough for shooting selfies in well lit environments. Just don't expect too much when the lighting is bad. In terms of video, both the front and the rear cameras can record at a maximum of 1080p, and like the photos, they are surprisingly capable even in low light conditions. We'll show you some photos and videos that we took using this phone to give you an idea on how it performs. The battery in the Coolpad Cool 20 Plus is rated at 4500 mAh, which does last quite a long time. According to BCMark Battery Test, the phone did record 14 hours, which is quite a great score. But unfortunately, there's no fast charging on this phone, and it does take a while to recharge. Overall, the Coolpad Cool 20 Plus gets some cool points, especially that glass back panel and the camera. However, it does suffer in terms of performance since it does use an older chipset. At the same time, it runs on an older OS version, specifically Android 11. For the price of just 5,699 pesos, the Coolpad Cool 20 Plus is not too bad, but I'm sure some of you will hesitate to make the shift since they are new entry to the market. But if you're willing to try something new, then why not? But what do you think about the Coolpad Cool 20 Plus? Is it a budget smartphone you would consider? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you won't miss any future uploads, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, and do visit uconnect.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this has been Aurel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.